This is a pure melee combatant build. It might not have touch attack arsenals, but since it has high BAB, it does not need any touch attack arsenals. Hello guys, Genuine Gaming here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you another main character build. As usual, this is not an overpowered build, but a thematic one. Here is my Demon Hunter build, inspired by Elidan in Warcraft 3. This is mainly a ranger with Demon Slayer archetype and 5 level dips in fighter with Dragon Air Scion archetype. Illidan is a dual wielder in Warcraft 3 with the twin blades of Azenoth. These blades of Azenoth are Warglaive weapons. However, there is no such weapon in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. The closest I can get is a scimitar weapon. This is a reason for the 5 levels of fighter dip, so that you can dual wield scimitars without penalties. I would have wanted it to be a dexterity build for high AC and go for an armored build, but you cannot maximize your demonic aspect ability with your demonic mythic powers. Yup, this is a demon mythic path build. As for the demon hunter uses demon powers to slay demons, your character uses also demonic powers to kill demons through the demonic aspects. I play this character on poor difficulty, but if you try this on higher difficulty, let me know how this character went in your playthrough. So for the build proper. We start as a fighter with a Dragon Air Scion archetype. I would have wanted to be an elf to be faithful with Illidan, but the stat bonuses of an elf does not complement with our build. That is why we go for the human race for the feat bonus. Other races can also be viable as long as they increase both strength and wisdom. Then take the acolyte as a background so that we could use our wisdom modifier as a bonus for our persuasion skills. As for the deity, we choose any deity as long as it allows us to choose the chaotic evil alignment. For the ability points, dump our charisma up to 7. We put 19 points for strength, 16 points for dexterity, leave our constitution points at 10, put 11 points on intelligence, and put 14 points to wisdom. For the skill points, make sure to put on persuasion skills and use magic device. One downside of a dual wielding character is that it has a low AC. Use magic device skill would allow us to use scrolls that would help us increase our AC. The rest would be up to you. For the character feat, take two weapon fighting and weapon focus scimitar. For your dragon air scion bloodline, take white or black dragon bloodline. At second level, get combat reflexes for your combat bonus feat. At third level, you gain draconic defenses, which gives you a plus one natural AC and a resistance to an elemental type and pick up dodge for your character level feat. At 4th level, you gain Draconic Strike. At this time, it would seem useless, but later on in the mid to late game, this would help us activate Elemental Barrage. At 5th level, for weapon training, get Heavy Blades and Advanced Weapon Training, Effortless Armor for your character level feat. At 6th to 20th level, we now go to our main class, which is the Ranger with Demon Slayer Archetype. For your Mythic Rank 1, get Close to the Abyss and Last Stand. At 7th level, get Outflank for your character level feat. And for the combat style, go for Menacing, then Intimidating Prowess. For your Mythic feat, get 2 Weapon Fighting Mythic. At 8th level, get Urban for your favorite terrain. At 9th level, you can gain Ranger's Bond. You can either get Companion Bond or with an Animal Companion Bond. The disadvantage of having an Animal Companion with this build is that your Animal Companion is 5 levels below your character. However, this can be mitigated if you choose Leopard as an Animal Companion. Since a Leopard can have an amazing amount of AC if we build it properly. See description on how I build my Animal Companion. Continuing with this build, let us assume you went for the Animal Companion Bond. For the character level feat, get improved 2 weapon fighting. 
For your Mythic Rank 3, get Mythical Beast. At 11th level, get Boon Companion for your character level feat. Then Shatter Defenses for your combat style feat. For your Mythic Rank 4, get Weapon Focus Scimitar Mythic. An Aspect of Clavacus for your Demonic Aspect. This increases your AC when you go for the Demonic Rage. At 13th level, get Improved Critical Scimitar for your character level feat and a beast for your favorite terrain. When you defeat Darazand in the Midnight Fane, make sure to equip the Demon Hunter his weapon, Rupturing Storm, which gives an additional 3d6 fire damage when it hits. At Mythic Rag 5, get Elemental Barrage. For your Demonic Aspects, get the following. Aspect of Babao, Aspect of Avakia, and Aspect of Shadow Demon. Then in the Abyss, attack Curse, who is found in the Flesh Markets, and kill him to get our second weapon, Rapscalia, which is a plus 5 Flaming Burst Scimitar. By activating Arcane Strike, you add another elemental damage depending on the bloodline you choose. This will activate Elemental Barrage every time you make a hit. At 15th level, get Greater 2 Weapon Fighting for the character level feat. At Mythic Rack 6, get Ever Ready, and Aspect of Sheer for the Demonic Aspect. At Mythic Rank 7, get Abundant Casting. Abundant Casting would increase the number of instant enemy spell that you can cast which is very useful to hit non-demonic bosses. At 17th level, get Shake It Off for your character level feat. If you see in my recent videos, I would highly advise to get this feat in the late game as it will definitely increase your saving throws, which is a game changer in the late game. And get Dodge Mythic for the Mythic ability at Mythic Rank 8. Then, get Aspect of the Primarach for the Demonic Aspect. At 18th level, get Underground for the Favored Terrain. For Mythic Rank 9, get Unrelenting Assault for the Mythic ability. An Aspect of Subokos and Aspect of Pazuzu for the Demonic Aspects. At 19th, get Double Slice for the character level feat, and Toughness for the combat style. And for Mythic Rank 10, get Always A Chance for the Mythic ability, and Aspect of Arash Kagal for Demonic Aspect. This is a pure melee combatant build. It might not have touch attack arsenals, but since it has high BAB, it does not need any touch attack arsenals. At core difficulty, this Demon Hunter has no problem of hitting enemy bosses as long as it is buffed properly. Other than Elemental Barrage as part of his arsenal, with high critical chance to hit, this Demon Hunter is a DPS machine. So that is how I build the Demon Hunter. I play this on core difficulty, but if you plan to give this build a try on higher difficulty, let me know how it plays out. I hope you find the video helpful, do not forget to leave a like to let me know, and if you want more Pathfinder Rat of the Righteous video, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video, ciao!